Hey guys, um, so I've been hearing that there's been some issues with the uh, second problem on the homework, so I designed this kind of uh, similar question, um, not the same values and kind of different system. Um, in this case, I'm dealing with hypothetical apple trees, and what we have is two parents with two different traits, one for apples and one for uh, flower color. In the terms of the flower color, um, you have red flowers, which are dominant, big R, white flowers, which are recessive, small r, uh, pr uh, production of apples, which is dominant, big A, and um, no production of apples, which is recessive, small a. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go with the parental info that we are given, the phenotypes, just like the problem you have, and kind of try to figure out what their genotypes might be. Um, let's start with parent one here. So parent one has red flowers. That doesn't really tell me anything right now, cause since red is dominant, this red could either be because of a big R, big R, or a big R, little r, heterozygote. What does tell me something is that it has no apples, and we know that no apples is the recessive trait, so it has to be a recessive homozygote, because if it had a dominant allele in there, it would produce apples. So it's got a little a, little a for that. This parent is a little more complicated. It's red just like the other one, so it has those two possibilities. And it also produces apples, which is the dominant trait, which means it has these two possibilities. So we'll keep that in mind as we go through and try to figure out what these genotypes are. Um, just by convention, I'm going to define parent 1 up the top here, parent 2 at the side. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do on this one, uh, it just jumps out to me, is anytime you have a double recessive uh, homozygote, you already know what these two positions are going to be. All this can contribute is little r's and little a's. So that means that both of these have to be a little r and a little a. Um, the next thing I see is this one right here. It produces apples, but it's also white. And I know the white flowers are coded for by this recessive allele. So if this is showing white flower production, then it also has to have a little r. And the fact that it produces apples tells me something, because this one does not produce apples. And if this also didn't produce apples, I would know that it was a little a. I'd know that it does produce apples. That tells me that this has to be a big A to be able to have it uh, have apples at all. And so I can figure out this one's genotype if I want. Now it's going to be little r, little r, big A, little a. Okay, so moving right along, we see a really similar thing here. This is white flowers with no apples. So it's actually the same genotype as this one. R, R, A, A. And that means it's the same situation we had here, where both of these are the same. And so I'm just going to go up here, do the same thing, R, A. OK. The next thing I can see is that this one right here, I have a small r contributed here. That takes care of that. And a small a contributed here. That takes care of one of these. Now it has a big R and a small a remaining, which tells me that those two alleles have to have come from this parent. There's no other possibility there. All right, so I've almost got this side filled in. And I can actually finish it right here, almost. And so the reason I can't completely finish it is because I have this mix of A's. But I have the same situation here where I have a homozygote for one of the traits, the, uh, the flower color. So both of these are contributing only big R's because that's all that there is around. Um, what I can do to kind of uh, finish this one up really quick is I can look at this phenotype here and I see that it has red flowers but I already knew that because by looking at these I already have this big R and this big R so this double big R but what else I see is that it has no apples and remember no apples is a homozygote trait and so I can fill in that it has a little a little a which means this one that I only knew the R before I now know the a and it's a little a and since I figured out where this little a is coming from, I know that this big A has to come from here. OK, so I have all of those done. Um, the only thing I'm missing is this one right here. And I can figure that out really quick because I know this square, and I have this information. And this information is telling me that this little r and this big A are coming from the left, which means that this uh, big r and this little a must be coming from the top. And that's it. And uh, now I have the genotype. So I see that there is a big R, big R, 
little r, little r, which means it has to be a mix of big and little r's for parent one, which means this is what it is, and we already knew what the A genotype was. And on this one, I see that it's a mix of big R's and little R's and big A's and little A's, which means it has to have both, which means that it's heterozygote for both traits. And so those are the genotypes. From that, you can fill in the rest of the information, and you can get the phenotypes, like on your uh, problem, to show an example of that. Let's pick randomly this square, and I'd see that there's a little R and a big A coming from here, a little R and a uh, little A coming from here. So I can fill in that this is a little R, a little R, big A, little A. And yeah, it's just as easy as that. Um, if you guys have any more questions about it, though, make sure to contact us. We'd love to help you figure out the one that you have on your homework. Um, but otherwise, I hope this was helpful to you.